Hello and welcome to the new episode on marketing mix modeling. Uh, on the episode of uh, transformation, diminishing return and outstock, we're going to cover how to create a more efficient and more precise uh, model using transformation on uh, the advertising variables. We're going to approximate, we're going to use approximation on and function transformation on ad stock. So we're going to discover what's the effect over time on marketing investments. And we're going to see what are the diminishing returns on each investment and what are the diminishing returns hyperparameters. And we're going to see how to approximate in order to maximize the precision of our model. So let's start. As usual, let's create a new, a new sheet. Uh, you know, regression with uh, transformation, transformed, perfect. So the first thing I want to do is I want to copy all my input data here. So I'll copy this one, perfect, F radio, and then perfect. All right, so I want to do, what I want to do is I want to, wait, I'll add a little row here on the top. Uh, leave always two rows at the top ones when you do that, you're going to see why. But so we need to transform these variables into these two functions. So add stock, add stock, add stock is equal to add stock at time t minus one times beta plus spent at time t. This is the first function. And the second function will be diminishing return and will be equal to add stock at time t is obviously at time t. At time t to the power of alpha. So these are the two transformations we want to do, we want to create. So we need to nest everything in here. And what's going to happen, it would be the, the function will be the transformed will be equal to uh, open uh, parentheses will be add stock at time t minus one plus parentheses times beta plus spent at time t, close parentheses again, to the power of alpha. Obviously, beta and alpha are values that are between zero and one. So I'm going to create, I'm going to, I'm going to use these two rows as my rows for the values. So I'm going to have alpha here and beta here. I'm going to move these uh, explanatory functions at the bottom because they don't i don't need them uh let's change position here so it's a little sim more simple i would say that alpha is one and beta is 0 0.1 perfect now i want to transform facebook transformed trans Let's change the title for everything. So TV transformed and radio transformed. Runs. So when we have a time zero, uh, because we don't have add stock at time T minus one, we're gonna just do the diminishing return. So I'm gonna do Facebook to the power, uh, power of alpha. Okay, and I'm gonna drag everything in the first row. So the second row on the transformation will be a little more complicated. So let's let's see how we're gonna do it. Equal uh, how open parenthesis how much was this ad stock at time t minus one times beta, which would be with uh, f four. Uh, plus how much we spent at time t, so this one, close parenthesis, uh, 
to the power of alpha will be this one. Okay, I'm gonna block everything. Uh, at least these two coefficients will be blocked. Set, okay, perfect. We drag everything down. All right, so we have the approximation on the, the values transformed here. Let's do, what? We're gonna do this thing, obviously. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna remove these dollar signs. Now drag everything. And if you drag everything, you're gonna have the, trans the transformation already made. We're gonna see it, we're gonna do it again anyway, so so it's clear to you. So uh, we're gonna do add socket time t minus one times beta, which would be with dollar sign, plus how much you spent at time t, uh, close parenthesis to the power of alpha, which is with dollar sign, sent, enter, you drag, till it's down. Same thing for radio transformation, perfect. So now I'm gonna color this part with green. So we remember this is, uh, wait, wait, no, I don't like green. Let's see yellow. We're gonna color this part in green. Perfect. Now, what we want to do, uh, so uh, I put alpha and beta with, with an, a random value between zero and one. Um, we do not know actually what's the best uh, value for this alpha and this beta. We're gonna find out. This is, we're gonna solve for a problem doing uh, other parameterization. So how you do it, it's pretty easy actually. So we're going to do equal our regression analysis, reg lin, alpha variable, drag and drop, comma, input variables, which we include only the transformed variable, comma one, comma one, close parenthesis. Oh, did I do something wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was wrong with this one, 33, perfect. So as we know, this is the intercept. This is Facebook, this is TV, and this is radio. So I'm gonna do it in yellow. Perfect. We have R squared here, which would be in yellow. Our main focus would be that. And there are messy root mean squared error. And it will be 1.77 here in yellow also. So the game right now is to find the values that, that maximize R square and that minimize RMSE. And we're gonna start with beta. So let's start with Facebook cats. Let's see what happens if I go from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. R square increases, let's do 0.3, decreases again. So I would say 0 0.2 is the best. Alpha, in the other end, I would do 0 0.8. Let's see if it, oh, zero. 0.8, perfect. Ooh, increases a lot. Let's do 0 0.6, increases again, 0 0.5. Okay, it doesn't increase much. Okay, 0 0.45. Okay, 0 0.5 seems the best ratio. Let's go for TV transformation also. And I would guess that the ad stock and the beta would be really long because it's TV that usually has a long ad stock effect. I would say 0.3, no, it doesn't. 0.2, 0.1, that's 2.5, no, it doesn't. So it's the ad stock effect seems to be really low, actually. I was wrong. Alpha effect, 0 0.7, let's see. Oh, it increases a lot. Okay. 0.8. Okay, seven point five. Okay, point seven. Point seven means it's the well best performer. 
let's do radio. Radio is an add stock effect. Let's see, 0.2. Okay, it works. 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Mm, 0.2 seems to work pretty well. 0 point on alpha, let's see, 0 0.8. Hmm. Let's try with 0 0.5. What happens? All right, so it works. 0 0.4, 0 0.3. Okay, 0 0.3 seems to have the best performance. And the RMSC, it decreases by a lot. I mean, from 1.7 to 1.45, from 0.85 to 0.92%, which is pretty good. Now what we're gonna, we will try to do is this one. So let's go, let's see and make prediction of, of this model. So I have predictions. And I will do the same thing we did before. So we have the intercept, I'm gonna block here, uh, plus Facebook coefficient, dollar sign times X input, uh, plus TV with dollar sign, TV coefficient with dollar sign times TV transformed, plus radio coefficient with dollar sign, times radio coefficient. So enter, I'm gonna move these two, two cells below. So I have it the same height and then I'm gonna drag it down. Perfect. Let's do, change it to numbers. Perfect. And I will copy sales here. So I have sales, all right, perfect. Let's see how accurate it is. First, I uh, would we'll say insert graph. And I want to uh, remove one predictions. And I want a time series uh, configuration. I want, sorry, I want a time series. Look at that. That's pretty accurate. But let's, let's make it. I want to see how accurate it is compared to the previous model without transformation. So let's do, let's copy and paste. Oops, sorry. Copy and paste. Command C, Command B. Perfect. All right. So we have, let's modify this one. I want to remove this. I want to include accuracy. Oh, I'm sorry, simple model. We have these two. We have these two, perfect. And the Y axis, I want sales, and then I want spread with radio. Look at that. So our model, our new model with, uh, with transformation is way more accurate on these terms. Look at that. So before, it could not get the negative spike, but now it's way closer than before. It um, it did it, it did not. I mean, it's getting a little closer here in the negative spike, so it's overall more realistic. We're gonna do an analysis on errors in order to actually uh, validate if it's more accurate overall or not. So I'm gonna do errors equal absolute value of uh, sales minus predictions, close parenthesis, and we drag it down. Uh, we change it to numbers, perfect. We do the average. So average of this one is 1.08. In our previous model, our error was 1.35. So let's, compare it with, uh, with the average. So we do this value, average of errors divided by average of sales. So average, average sales will be average uh, of sales, all right? And percentage error 
will be equal 1.08 divided by average sales in percentage. It will be 8.8404%. So we actually have a model that has an accuracy of 92% and an error of 8.04%. In this case, what we calculated is the mean app, mean percentage absolute error. So what's the absolute what is in percentage the absolute error that we get from this analysis? We can do the same with a simple model. With a simple model, we have uh, let's do average average sales, which would be the same value as before. So we get 13. And the average and the MAPE, the mean absolute percentage error, would be 1.32 divided by 13 percentage, and it would be 9.82. So we lowered our percentage error from 10% down to 8%, which is pretty good. 20% decrease in, um, in error. So it's, it's really good. So now we learned how to create diminishing returns curve and diminishing returns transformation with ad stock and include everything into a rational analysis that can give us the best results um, precision wise. In the next episode, what we're going to do is create and create a model actually that is going to allow us to simulate various scenarios. You know, in, in this way, we can play on how much to spend on each channels and see what will be the result. And we know that this model has an 8% error and 92% accuracy. So we're gonna mitigate this error and this uncertainty uh, in order to find the best ratio and the best, best budget spent on each channel. So thank you for, uh, for watching this video. See you in the next one.